Hey, what's going on guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here this question is asking a point Q is located at A00 while another charge negative Q is located negative A00. Find E at 0000A0A0A. Okay, so here we are talking about the point charges. Now let's look at a general example. So for example, let's say we have N point charges. Point charges. And if we want to calculate the electric field of this one, electric field intensity of this one, first we have to look at the charges. So Q1, Q2, and we are going to have Qn charges. And also we have to look at the locations. Let's say uh, the locations are R1, R2, and uh, Rn. Okay. Now we want to calculate the electric field. The electric field equation will be like that. We want to calculate the electric field at point, let's say point R point R and to calculate the electric field at point R what we do is we equate this electric field to Q1 R minus R1 so point R minus the first point and then divided the, that one by 4 phi epsilon naught magnitude of R minus R1 cube plus Q2 R minus R2 divided by 4 phi epsilon naught r minus r2 q and we do this for n number of charges right so for n it's going to be q n r minus r n divided by 4 phi epsilon naught r minus r n cube now you can see the pattern so this is the same pattern we are going to use for each point of this one to calculate the electric field now let's look at the first point the first point is asking us to find the point at 0, 0, 0. And also we have two charges. One is A0, 0, and the another one is negative Q, that's negative Q, that's negative A0, 0. So here you can see, whenever if we have a n point charges, we have to do this one n time. So when we have two charges, here we have one charge here, one charge here. So we have to do this one two times, and the location R is going to be this one, 0, 0, 0. Okay. So instead of R, we plug, plug this 0, 0, 0, and instead of R1, we plug the first charge and the location of the first charge, and instead of R2, we will put the location of the second charge, and in the denominator, it's the same thing, and at the end, we will get the final electric field. Now, let's go ahead and plug the values. First, we are looking at 0, 0, 0 position, so this is going to be Q, 0, 0, 0, minus A, 0, 0, 0 divided by 4 phi epsilon naught magnitude 0 0 0 minus a 0 0 cube magnitude cube and then this is this is for the first charge now we have another charge right here negative a 0 0 so we have to do the same thing for that one and that is negative q charge so negative q and then 0 0 0 that's our point we are looking for r minus negative a 0 0 that's the location of the second charge divided by 4 phi epsilon naught 0 0 0 minus negative a 0 0 0 magnitude cube okay now whenever we talk about magnitude the thing is if you have a negative a like 0 we only subtract x minus x y minus y like we subtract the components right for the you can see this is 0 minus a so we are going to have negative a so to find the magnitude of anything we have we have what we have to do square and square root of the one. so we have to do the same thing for example if i have another one like a y something let's say if we have y 2a what i have to do is i just have to put 2a and plus 2a and square square root so this is going to be the magnitude for this one just negative a so we will get negative a square square root and that's going to give us just a because negative a square that's going to be a then we will get a then we have to cube that one so that's going to be a cube at the end okay in the numerator we have q and uh, for the first one we have a negative a and that is in the x direction so we put a x for the x direction but let's take that one common and for this one also negative charge negative sign right here this negative negative positive but due to this one this is also going to be a negative a 
because I don't put the negative here so I put this negative with the A and both of them are in the X direction because both of them are in the first one so this is in the X direction and as we seen before in the denominator we are going to have just A because for this one also this is a positive A but if you square square and square root we, we will get A and if you cube that one that's, called, that's also going to be A cube so in the denominator for both of them we are going to have 4 5 epsilon naught A cube so we can just directly add them right because we, since we have the same denominator we can directly add them and finally we will end up with this is going to be negative 2a so finally we will end up with negative 2a and the, this 2 negative 2a and this 2 and 4 cancels each other so finally we will end up with negative q divided by 2 phi epsilon naught a square in the ax direction and that's going to be the answer for the first one now let's look at the second one second one is asking to find the electric field at 0 a 0 okay let's go ahead and do that one and let's get rid of this one okay so the generic equation remains the same we are going to use the same equation for everything so b we are doing the b part right now 0 a 0 this is our location that's r right r location is this one r1 r2 r1 is this one r2 is this one we have two charges so we can go ahead and calculate this one okay we are in looking for this one right now so the equation is going to be what we are going to have e q 0 a 0 minus the first charge is at a 0 0 divided by 4 phi epsilon naught r minus r1 in our case r is 0 a 0 and uh, minus r1 is a 0 0 and after that we have to cube this one plus negative q that's our check second charge negative q then r minus r2 r is 0 a 0 minus a 0 0 a 0 0 divided by 4 phi epsilon naught 0 a 0 minus a 0 0 cube okay so this is what you are having right now okay let's look at the top one we have a and this is okay let's uh, look at the denominator first 4 phi and this one is a and here we have a the negative a in the x-axis this is a in the y-axis so negative a negative a square plus a square square root so this is going to be what 2a like uh, this is going to be a square this is also a square 2a square so 2a square that's going to be result in root 2a right so root 2a for this one let's look at this one here a and uh, this is a in the x x y axis this is a in the x axis negative a actually so negative a square plus a square this is also root 2a and we have to cube this one so if you write root 2 times root 2 times root 2 you can write this one as 2 root 2 so when you cube, cube this one this is going to be 2 root 2 and a is going to be directly cubed so 2 root 2 a cube so that's what we are going to have right now and in the numerator we have this one right here let's see how, how we are going to simplify this one okay so let's write the denominator first since we since the both having the same denominator we can directly add them so 4 phi epsilon naught 2 root 2 a cube okay this is what we are having right now and for the numerator the first one a 0 minus a so we have a negative a in the x direction but let's put the y first this since this is positive positive a here we have 0 a minus 0 that's going to be 0 so a in the a y direction so we put the a y for the direction okay and then minus a in the a x direction for x direction we put a x for y direction we put a y okay then and also in the other one we have 
let's put a negative because this charge is negative and then for the first one we have a minus a x so a x is minus here and y is a and that is positive so this is going to be what we are going to have positive a y a a y and then minus a a x so this is what we are getting from this one mm. since i took the minus common i had to put plus right here okay so this is plus and here we have my a a y minus a a y so these two cancels each other minus a a x minus a x so this is going to be negative 2 a a x and that 2 and this 2 can cancel 2 root 2 and that 2 can cancel so finally we will end up with this uh, a and a, a cube also can cancel so we will end up with q over and uh, this is a negative q since the negative direction negative 2 ax right so negative direction and then finally we get 4 root 2 phi epsilon naught a square in the ax direction and this is going to be the expression for the second one okay now let's look at the third one but before i go further let's get rid of this one So C part, we are doing the C part right now. In the C part we have A0A. So we are going, going to do the same thing. First we have Q charge, that's going to be Q. And then the location of the Q is going to be what? A0A. 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 And then we have this one right here. This is our R and minus r1 r1 is this one r2 is this one so let's go in and subtract so this is gonna be what see a0 a and this is a0 0 a0 0 and then in the denominator we are going to have 4 phi epsilon naught a0 a minus a0 0 cube plus then we have negative q, q charge and the r is still the same a0 a and the negative q charge located at negative a0 0 negative a0 0 and then in the denominator we are going to have 4 phi epsilon naught a 0 a minus negative a 0 0 cube and that's it right now let's go ahead and simplify this one let's look at this denominator a minus a so a, a cancels a, a cancels and hmm, a minus a let's see a minus a yeah a a cancels and for this one this is going to be just a so a square square a square square root that's going to be a and if we cube this one this is going to be 4 5 epsilon naught a cube so this is going to be the simplification for this one and then q here we have a minus a x cancels because a minus a that's going to be zero and in the z direction we have an a so this one be a a z okay and that's it for this one let's look at this one right here and since this is negative charge let's put a negative okay let's look at the denominator a minus minus a those so this is going to be different we have 2a and this is a in the z direction but this is also a minus 0 that's going to be just a square 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 root so 2a square 4a square plus a square 5a square 
5a square square root we will end up with square root of 5a okay square root of 5a and if we keep this one 5 5 5 we are going to have 5 root 5 a cube so this is what we are going to get from this one and here in the numerator we have a minus minus a so this is going to be 2a in the x direction and a in the z direction so negative q 2a in the x direction and then plus actually since we have two taken minus common let's put minus here hmm a okay this is also plus if I take a minus and multiply this one hmm that, that's going to be still plus I think yeah plus and this is a a z and uh, as we found out before 3 times 5 that's square root of 5 that's going to be 5 root 5 a cube that's going to be our denominator so we are going to have a denominator that's going to be like 5 root 5 a cube and also 4 5 epsilon naught remains epsilon naught remains okay so this is what we got right now now the last step is what we what we can do is we can take this one common and simplify and if you simplify the last one you will end up with e is equal to e is equal to q divided by 10 root 5 phi epsilon naught a square negative a x plus 5.1 a z so this is going to be our final expression okay and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching